Okay, this is just a random video I'm walking on the tracks. I've been walking from Parksville to Qualicum today, first along the coastline, now on the inland railway, which uh, will take probably another 45 minutes or so. And in the interim, I hope to honor this land and favor it with some sort of romantic discourse to hold forth upon the castles in the clouds and the fancies in the animal nature of my own flesh and blood. Twas a day, not long before Christmas, when all in the church, the rivers and plants of the heavens and earth, that we lay our long bodies like rivers across the land of our flesh and our blood and our gods. In advance of the day, but a stone marked our lives and the letters upon it so neatly inscribed. As we walked and we ambled our way through this world of so troubling matters, so conveniently pearled upon the flower of the mind, the folds that marriage long, forgotten by the birth of man. Though this, the very song, the sequence of the days and nights, the seasons, phases of the moon, the sun inside the atmosphere. A mother's very womb, from whom we took first steps across the greatest gulf, the greatest pulse, even. of every organ of our thought. And all our thought occults betray our flesh and blood. Blood will ever betray. So true a tale. the romance that first struck the heart. And failing whose most fair account we are impaled. We make our lives a bitter Ditch, a fabric of a war that seems to have been going on longer than we have been being born. It strikes like thunder every place we turn our heads. And even these, our children, are but anxious. to fly out of their heads. To follow like the head of Christ, the semen of the mouths have lost their body, their flesh and blood. and think themselves knowledgeable, powerful.
I've walked in many places, enjoyed summer or an autumn sunny day like this with many different kinds of people, all going their separate ways. Why is it that the world improves the more we radiate away from our birth? And by radiate, I mean forget. Live out every nuance of what is actually being spoken by the womb of man. And yet take it upon ourselves to give our very lives to a labor that would twist anything our labor would say except through the most violent neglect of successive generations of our children. That's, that's a God of the world too, and it takes a God to do that. We don't even know what that God is fighting. That's Satan, the great Satan of the world. That all the God of the world is fighting, all the freedom, safety, progress, and salvation. That Satan is your own is the communication of your own flesh and blood. That's Satanism. So every day, you know, there is a real world that crosses the threshold between what we see and what we don't. That can only be illuminated by exerting ourselves to use our voices to communicate our flesh and blood to our own complete satisfaction. But no one seems accountable to do that, and there's no metric for what that would look like. But I dare say I've come to appreciate those whose voices seem to take them away from the world as much as possible, and away from any cult or any religion but that of their own flesh and blood. Thanks for listening. I mean, God, you know, whatever rapes the Virgin Mary, and what does he get? You know, he's so jealous, indeed, he can't let his own son reproduce. All his son produces is something of a kind of language married to the most exemplary torture and humiliation in the world, taken, uh, taken up by a chorus of uh, literally dumbstruck uh, Christian zombies for hundreds of years. They venerate that shit. So it goes to show that under various circumstances, people don't even want to entertain what it is they're being sold. This is, you're skipping a few beats along there if you're Christian. You're skipping a few beats if you're Islamic. You're skipping a whole process of thinking that has been neglected for so long it's easier and easier to do it without any real critical circumspection. Um, the deficits of which, the manifold deficits, are answered for by the vitriolic hysteria that people put into every single belief system in the world, no matter how convinced they are that it's going to save them from the dilatory effects of all the other belief systems. You know, good luck with that. I'm going to fucking walk my tracks, smoke a little marijuana, and use my voice.